Today I'm going to show you how to draw a nose. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Today I'm going to be drawing this nose in graphite. When drawing a nose, everyone's is obviously going to be shaped a little bit different, but there are certain things that are going to be the same for everyone, mainly in how you're going to shade the nose. So today I'm going to walk you through that and give you some tips on how to shade the nose so that it looks very three-dimensional. If you are supporters on Patreon, the real-time tutorial is available for you guys now, so make sure to head over there and check that out. Now let's get on to the tutorial. Starting off, I have very, very lightly drawn out my nose, but you want to make sure if you're going to draw things out first, don't have heavy lines. You don't want those to show later on. The biggest mistake that I see new portrait artists make when they are drawing is to draw actual lines around everything. Cartoons have lines. People don't have lines. We have shadows. So here you can see I'm so keeping everything very, very soft, just blocking in a the light light areas first. I'm then going through with my pencil and darkening up the areas around the nose. Underneath the nose and the nostrils are going to be your darkest portions of the nose, but you don't want them to just be heavy black lines or heavy black marks where the nostrils are. You can see that they fade out from dark to light. Now I use a shading tool quite a bit while I am working in graphite. You can do all of this just with the graphite pencils if you don't like using the shading tools, totally optional. As I work, I do a lot of layers. This is very similar to working in colored pencil or paint. There, This is all layering. This isn't a, a paint by number thing where everything's going to be done in one shot. I'm using a blending cloth to soften around the edges so that I can then come through, darken up more, and I'll use my kneaded eraser to pull out highlights. This area is a heavy shadow, but it's not a line. I can't stress that enough. You don't want those lines other than a little bit around the nostrils. And even that I'm going to fade out. When I work with a pencil, I am usually doing this in small ovals or small circles so that I don't have heavy pencil lines. I've got a shadow underneath the nose and the shadow is going to vary depending on where your light source is on the subject. So definitely pay close attention to your reference photo. Building up more of the shadow here. You don't want to do too much pressure too early on when you are working in graphite because you can flatten out the tooth of the, the paper which would make it so that it won't accept enough layers later on. So I always start with a very light hand. When I use the kneaded eraser, I'm mostly just dabbing to pull up graphite so that I get those highlights. I don't need to do a bunch of scrubbing back and forth to get that light enough in most cases. Again, going back through and darkening up even more. I'd rather go too light to start off and then go back and darken things up than to go too dark early on and not be able to lighten them up enough. Now, even those lines around the nostrils that look like heavier lines, you can see they're more shadows. They fade out. In order to create a three-dimensional nose, it's really important to get your lights really light and your darks and shadows very dark. You're not going to create dimensions with lines. It's all by shadows. You can see I'm going back to the shadowed areas now that I have everything else blocked in and strengthening that contrast. The eraser that you're seeing me use there, that tiny silver one, is the Mono Tombow, or Tombow Mono Eraser. You can get those on Amazon. They're pretty inexpensive and just amazing erasers for getting little detail. I'm using that A and 4B lead to darken up certain areas even more. It's still, all of those edges are still pretty soft. They're not harsh lines. When you're drawing or painting portraits, make sure that you're spending as much time getting that nose correct and accurate to your reference photo to the person that you're drawing as you do every other portion. I know the eyes are a lot more fun to do, but that nose is super important. If you don't get that nose in there just right, it'll ruin the whole piece. So you wanna really make sure to spend the time needed to get that in exactly how it should be. Pulling out more of the shadows under the nose. Now these shadows around the nose are what creates the depth here. It's not about lines, it's about the shadows. I know I keep saying that, but it's just so important. Pulling out some highlights with that eraser. I'm 
And you want to make sure that your kneaded eraser or any eraser you're using is very clean. You can see that I got a scratch on there or a mark because I wasn't paying attention. If this was a real portrait that I was trying to finish, I would be so upset that I just ruined and had to start over because of a mark from being lazy and not making sure my eraser was clean. Notice too that I've got the skin on the nose is very, very dark. And it's not just about the nose in general, but when you're doing portraits, that skin usually when needs to be a little bit darker than you might expect. That way when you put your highlights, the highlights show up. You don't want to leave everything really, really white. And that is it. I hope this helps you guys out for portraits that you do in the future. Thanks for watching. Again, if you are supporters over on Patreon, make sure to head over there where the real-time tutorial is available for you guys now. If you're new to my channel, I have new video critiques every Tuesday where I'm critiquing your original paintings or drawings, my own speed paintings, drawings, and tutorials every Wednesday, social media tips for artists each Thursday, and artist vlogs every weekend. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe, and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Plus, all of those social media sites. The links are below in the video description where you can keep up with news, my newest work, and see real-time clips of whatever it is I'm currently working on. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the social media vlog. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind no. and certain things that I want to and there and there are so and there's certain things that I want to give you tips on on things to avoid and things when drawing a nose, everybody's is going to be no. and certain today I'm going to be drawing this nose and that seems like the weirdest thing to draw.